Hello, I'm back in the European Status 4. I'm Entrelysium. This is Brandenburg to Germany, Germany to big ass, kick ass, sexy ass Germany. Hmm. What are we doing today? Oh, the same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. Ah, uh, right. Let's improve relations. I think we might be able to get to vassalize in this episode. That'd be pretty nice. I like that idea. What about over here? Uh, you're gonna hate us for quite a long time. No! It's possible we could get them on the side. Although they are a noble republic, which makes it incredibly difficult. What about you? <laughs> they desire uh, all of my stuff. That's that's nice, but you're not getting it. Um, let's try and improve relations with them. I don't know, we might end up attacking them this episode. Just hoping that someone pulls out. Come on. Ha! Ah! <gasps> For tax base! Send! Goodbye, colonists! Do me proud! Attach. Boats. Boats, boats, boats! Go here! Great Barrier Reef. Um, my Royal Major Russia has ended. Russia will suggest again. Opposing your import tariff, gain more capitalism, gain diplo power. More capitalism is long term. I'll go for that. I'm not hurting for diplo power. Common transport. That's a good transport. And then go home. Have we? No, we haven't got that one yet. We're still waiting for our columns to get over there. It'd be nicer when we've got a closer place. Uh, you should make it home in one piece. Maybe. 10% attrition is getting high, but you should get there fine. Yeah. Uh, Cameroon's fine. We arrived at Christmas Island safely. New missions. Improved defenses in Colchin. Sure, let's do that one. Where's Cushion? Cushion, Cushion, Oh, it's uh, down here, isn't it? It's one of these. There we go. You invest in new technology! Yes. Yes, I will. We can be a Republican dictatorship and absolute monarchy. Uh, I think monarchy applies to us, so let's have a look at that, actually. I haven't actually changed it since the start of the game, and it would be tempting. We're still a feudal monarchy. We could go up. Uh, to, I don't think constitutional monarchy. Constitution's a nice one, actually. But I don't think we can get that. Yes, nationalism, minus five. Very good. Yeah, legitimacy, plus one. Very good. Manpower recovery speed. Nice. However, absolute monarchy, national revolt risk, minus one, plus five percent discipline. Just crazy amounts of discipline we could go for. Tax modifier, production efficiency. That's pretty good, actually. That would allow us to get a lot more money. Currently, we have income from vassals and manpower modifier, plus ten percent. Really not not that useful. Um, Constitution's nice, but it's two away. Absolute would make us even more powerful on the battlefield. However, administrative would give us plus five percent national tax modifier and production efficiency plus ten percent, and that would be very helpful. It would buff our gold mines considerably, because I think production efficiency applies to them as well. Uh, it's a bit of a toss-up, actually. I'm very tempted just to go for this because we've got so many discipline modifiers that we could just go absolutely crazy on discipline modifiers. We, we would be, I think, above 20% by that point. It would just be stupid. Let's actually have a look. Uh, discipline. Yeah, we, we, cur yeah, we currently are at 25% in addition. We could get another 5% from the policy. And we could get another 5% from that. Or was it 7.5? We could be like literally 30% or over extra discipline, which is is just crazy levels, right? That is stupidly higher levels. I have never, ever got even close to that before. I'm very tempted to do it just for the insanity. The other point, though, is we could just go for money. But honestly, you know, we've got a lot of money, and getting extra money would be helpful, but I just love the idea of stacking so much discipline. A silent spring, she giggles. Your majesty, she says. You look at her. Her beauty is unmatched in your realm, and even in realms beyond yours. Yeah, there are still some realms beyond ours. I will allow that statement to stand for now. You say nothing. Spring is in the air. Uh, no, it's kind of summer. 
or really very late spring if you really want to push it. It's not really spring, but okay. And as you lean in towards her, the intoxicating scent of her perfume painfully present, a thought crosses your mind. I'm allergic to perfume. Cute girl! Uh, new legal heir. Do I need a new legal heir? Um, yes. How old am I? 20. Bargaining chip. Switzerland get a royal marriage with Germany. I could do that anyway. Um, a 355 is very good though. A 355. Normally I wouldn't go for the weak claim on someone so young. Because there's a chance they'll get, there's a very good chance they'll get an actual decent normal heir. But a 355 is too good to pass up. So let's get ourselves uh, a bastard. So, now we've got a bastard in place. Mm, yes, we need a Royal Marriage with Switzerland, don't we? No, we've already got one. Okay. We need a Royal Marriage with you, don't we? Yes. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Lithuania is attacking Russia. And I think we'll be able to push it up to the point where we can vassalize them. That would be very nice. I'm very looking forward to vassalizing them. Let's go ahead. <gasps> We've discovered more things. All the things. Right. Australia, you're going to be ours. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. Could do with more colonists, maybe. We could abandon this colony and we could just go down there. Hmm, it is tempting. No, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. We'll just uh, run some more colonies than we normally do. We'll take the overextension on our colonies. It's not overextension, but something like that. Ming, wow, look at that province. Ooh, hello, Koch. Just sitting there by yourself, one province minor. It's unfortunate. Come on, someone someone leave, leave the coalition against me, please. It's getting annoying now. And my aggressive expansion in, yeah, it was still 40 with you and 30 with you, but it's actually getting to levels where I can maybe attack them again. Come on, Europe. Come on. Hungary, good. I'm glad you're losing. Aggressive expansion is down to 16 over there. If I attacked, would you, co you are still coalition, right? Yeah. Oh, they're allied with France. Well, I really shouldn't have waited on that one, should I? I might be able to drag them in somehow. Let's have a look. Austria, the Palatinate, and um, they will call upon the coalition members. Right, so Palatinate. Okay, I can do with the Palatinate. And Netherlands. Yeah, it's fine. So we, we can avoid that horrible sideways catastrophe that would be France getting involved. Royal Marriage of Frankfurt has ended! Oh no! I'm distraught. We can just marry again. <laughs> Let's recall him and we'll send one to here. And then we just, yep, grab you. Attach you. You are attached, right? Yeah. Move you to here. Recall Diplomat. Right, this is when we go on Switzerland, so let's just move these guys down and then we'll do with the Switzerland uh, situation. Transport, troops, go. Advise the slot. Military! Fort defense, nice. Morale of armies, also very nice. What are we currently on? Nine. Okay, I could go for that, but I actually want the money right now. Right, so you got there. I'm going to position my guy here in future. And you can go here. Go look for New Zealand. Uh, 
and then come back. And then we're looking for Fortify Wider. Why do we want to vote? For, uh, make them vote for us? Would the Plantonic go anywhere near us? No. <laughs> I like the fact everyone's still voting for Austria. It's like, well, they don't really have a choice, I guess. Get into China. Why not? We're still waiting around doing other stuff. Twiddling our thumbs, as it were. Let us check what our revolt risk is down here. Because I don't want to be leaving them when they're going to revolt. There's 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1%, 1 0. Fabricate a claim on Ceylon, because, well, they're going to be incredibly useful. And... I think we'll go with the Ming thing in a second. Seems like only a good option to me. Until that point, we might as well take Fortify Wider. Wider, there we go. Native Assimilation! Yay! Recall Diplomat. We could go inwards. Honestly, I'm not massively fussed by going inwards. But it's possible we need to get ourselves a stronger foothold so that we can't get knocked out. But then again, we have got one here. Hmm. Right, what was I going to do? Something just happened. I can't remember what it was. Like, something popped up and I was just like, yep, cool. So, like, one of those moments, everyone watching YouTube will know exactly what I'm on about, and I'm like, I have no idea. Oh. That's nice. Our force limit's actually lower than what we can have. It's a very strange feeling for me. Ooh. Plus five ducats for the cost of 200. That'll take... 40, so we're talking about four years? Not bad, not bad. Uh, what else is there? We can go, stuff like that. Cheese missionary strength, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Conscription centers. Uh, yeah, but we don't need to increase our force limit yet. We need to actually increase our money so that we can get for more force limit. Mint. Mint, mint, mint. It's not increasing that much money. Something like Z Danzig would be a good point to have it. What do we have in Danzig? Oh, maybe it already has a mint. Okay. Oh, but it doesn't have a cathedral. <gasps> but cathedral would increase the money there by seven. Hmm. We should take something like 40 months. So again, about four years to come back in terms of money. Which is not terrible. And I do think we need to go that before we go the navy route. So let's build that there and that there. And then keep going. Oh, and I also wanted to change my self over to plus five percent discipline for the lol. Force our strength. Uh, lose twenty-five military power. Gain a load of stuff, or gain four strengths and gain another two point five percent discipline. Of course, I'm going to go with discipline at this stage. There's just like insanity. Just insanity. Uh, in the meantime, give it five years. Five years, and they'll be fine again with us. Oh, we were going to do Switzerland, weren't we? So, economic action. Send a gift. Oh, I only got them five. Okay, let's send them more gifts. That was always 225. Meh. Doesn't matter. And then we need to... Off-fascialization. 
which will happen about now. Sweet. Thank you, Switzerland. It's very nice dealing business with you. The Palantinate. Hi. Uh, you will take my alliance. I think we can get there. It'll take us time, but I think we can get there. And then immediately royal marriage afterwards. Oh, there we go. They give us an offer of royal marriage. 140. It's pretty good. We need to up that by another 50 to be able to get the royal marriage, uh, the uh, vassalization going. I'm just wondering how we can do that. I mean, they do have a few things against us, but not enough to really push them over the edge. I just give it maybe a bit of time and then possibly a little bit of extra relations and some money might sway them. Mertrex is from Ulm. Fine, go for it. Our explorer's dead. No, that was terrible. We were really hoping he would live. Where is he? He's over here, isn't he? Uh, sure. We were so sorry you died. We want to get your twin cousin, who presumably also has a very similar name, Franz. Hi, Franz. Go here. And I have a war against Salon to do, which will be very easy. Go over here. Grab these guys. What are these? Mandurian nationalists. Okay, so they probably want to get free from Great Britain. That'd be kind of nice. I expect Great Britain just to stomp on them, though. It is Great Britain. And we can get all the way over there without taking any attrition. That's kind of nice. Grain! Yay! Just what I've always wanted. More grain. Come on. Diplomacy. The turning of the year, the 1st of January. New leaf, new century, declare war. Take Ceylon. Declare war. Poland has left the military coalition against us. Right, that's starting to happen. Good. Vijayanagar has left the military coalition against us. Oh, the navy have risen up and they're going to get killed and we're going to win and we'll be really happy. Oh, no. Could assault. It'll be costly in lives and also cost us five. Yeah, but... I'm lazy. <laughs> That's my excuse. That is just my excuse. I'm lazy. Uh, let's also get... Ooh, we could go construct a grand fleet. I do want that. But I want the Chinese coast as well. How much money are we earning? Yeah, I can't build the Grand Fleet yet. Let's go get into China. Uh, hi. Got a lot of stuff there. That's, that's what we have things on. I'd like all of them, please. Hmm. I'm tempted to go for something like here. But it's very close to Russia is my worry. But here, then I can grab Korea. And then I can possibly go into Japan and grab Japan. I mean, oh, Castile's, Castile's jumped up here. That's not good. But I'm hoping that I can maybe get into Japan and take Japan because that would be hilarious. Unless there is a, a mission of get into Japan. I don't know if there is. So. What are those? Oh, they're owned by Japan. Okay. It's not, like, the music's like, oh my god, there's so much war happening. And I'm like, yeah, it's against some native dudes. Piece of cake. Oh, uh, chocolate imports. Prominent economists have questioned the rapid increase in chocolate imports to our nation recently. Uh, after one of our neighbors came to control a large quantity of the world's known cocoa supply through deft trade practices, their confectionery has grown even, uh, very popular even amongst German people. 
Well, you know, anyone who wants a curry has to basically deal with us. We own all the spices. Um, protection is politicians are now questioning whether such imports of sexual luxuries be benefit Germany, arguing that a growing nation on the good, uh, which our neighbors control, leads to gold flowing out of our nation. Uh, just FYI, economists, gold flows out of our nation anyway. We own, like, half the world's gold supply. But a river of sweet chocolates flowing into our nation. Manpower recovery speed, plus 10%. National vote risk, minus one. Or restrict imports of this sinful indulgence. Gain one monk handleism. Uh, I'm going to go over the reduction in revolt risk. The manpower's nice. Reduction in revolt risk is really nice. And it's one mechanism. That's for five years. Which is enough for me to leave India. Enough to worry about those rebels. That's, that's why. And there we go. And we should find... The, oh, revolt risk is still half percent. Okay. It's a risk. It's a risk. Yep, let's... Defensiveness... Military tech, yes. Uh, ooh, we can get some new units. Cool. Wasn't paying attention to exactly what they were. Uh, ooh. Hello there. Hello. We're going to go with line infantry, mainly because they're the most badass at shooting. Uh, the other option is, of course, uh, Caroline infantry, which are very good on the assault. Actually, I'm very tempted to go for Caroline infantry. I do tend to do most of the assaulting. Caroline... And for you, Armée Blanche Cavalry, because again, mostly offensive. Like my accents. And I think, yeah, we're still in the Cohorn Mortar. Sweet. And we went over our Diplo. That's fine. That's fine by me. Bohemia, hi. Do you want to leave that coalition? A few years. Oh no! Come on! I guess they are Manduri nationalists and this is Manduri. Assault. Did we win? We lost like half our dudes. The Imprint enacted an Imperial of Thorns, stability cost modifier plus 10. Members get, uh, disallow internal HRE wars. He's getting really far up now, actually. That's worrying. He's actually really far up that. Because the next ones are basically fairly easy. They're, they're just like, well, now that they can't war internally, all he has to do is turn them to vassals, do something else. What's this one? That's direct vassal, so the one above is... Ah, uh, the next one above is uh, Austria always inherits, but Austria was always going to inherit anyway. Right, so there is a chance Austria could come back, so I've got to basically take out these things Austria can get. So, as soon as possible, I'm going to be taking out everything Austria can grab, everything in the HRE. This is worrying. Russia is... Conquest of Korea against Korea and the Ming. Uh, no. No, I've got my own war. Sorry. I'm going to decline. I'm sorry, Russia. But I've, I've got to decline. We're going there ourselves once we finish this. Okay, well, they're going to probably get that and we're going to have to give in to them. Which is a shame. More power enables production efficiency plus five percent, or delegate more production, um, delegate more provinces with trade efficiency. Uh, I'll go with production efficiency just because it will nicely boost our gold. Yet yeah, Russia, I would like the alliance back. Thank you. Sorry about that uh, miscommunication. I thought you said you were going out for Chinese food, and I was like, uh, you know, I don't fancy. Yeah, this is my excuse. It's not going well, is it? Cool. Um, sure, go and attack them. I don't mind. Good to see. Ah, oh, so that's Navy tradition just coming in, naturally, now. That's good. It's from, like, quality, probably. Um, oh, because we're at war. These are at, uh, at home. They don't need to be at home. Come on. It's a, it's a war very far away in the world. I could tell them not to. It's probably why our income's so low. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do, 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 do. I could get you up by 10. Could get you up by then 25, but you would still be short about 15. Can I ask you to convert? No. 
No. We'll see. I might just end up having to break that. It doesn't look like you... Like, without uh, a nice boost to your relations, it doesn't look like you'll be joining us. Once we're done here, we'll peace out with these guys. I think we've only got to peace out. And then we'll go to China. And also, come on, Bohemia! Seriously. Oh. We won that rather easily. Um... Full annexation. Send demand. Make a core. Only cost us 45. And then harsh military treatment for only 30. And then add you to the trading company. Why is Castile there? Huh? Right, well, Britain cleared them out, and now we just have to recharge and recap, and then we can go to uh, Ming, take over China, get a nice chunk for ourselves. Um, what about us over here? Well, aggressive expansion in two years' time will be at zero. At that point, they'll have to leave that coalition. It's very annoying they're still in that coalition, actually. It's just incredibly frustrating. There is absolutely no point for them to be in there. Uh, Diplotech. Or do we want it to mediate a peace? We do want it to mediate a peace. So yes, we'll keep the Diplotech for the moment. Because we want to try and grab a lot of stuff. Take advantage of this trend, trade company boom. Uh, trade efficiency plus 10% or gain a bunch of ducats. I'm going to take advantage of the trend long term, plus 10%. Very nice, very tasty. Twenty ducats per turn. What now? Come on. 22 ducats per turn. Definitely something I appreciate. No, a general is dead. Where was he from? I'm going to assume he was from here. Get a new general. <laughs> two, six, one, two. It's like, well, six would be great if it was the period of shock, but currently it's the period of fire. So not, not, the, not the most important thing in the world. Um, I've got four out of four leaders. Sure. <sighs> Come on, Bohemia. Come on. Let's keep Switzerland pretty. I tower of your games, Bohemia. Isn't Tarahami grand? Minus 10% cost on infantry and cavalry. Ah, oh, delicious. Hmm. I wonder if we can get them to join us, maybe, eventually. Military access. Uh, sure, go for it. And now... <laughs> Castile, you're just going to sit there on top of my province. Uh, recall diplomat, actually. That is good news. Wood will be produced. Wool. Excellent. Actually, no, wool was very important in this sort of era, so. Hmm. Okay, Russia. Hi. I kind of actually want to be doing that, so if you, you wouldn't mind. So that's my job. Uh, I still can't get rid of all the nationalism. 3%. Oh well, if they if they complain, I'll just uh, peace out. It's fine. Most of really dislike us. Not that I'm gonna really blame them overly much. They've kind of got a bit of a right to blame us. Holland, are you Protestant? No, you're Catholic. That sucks. I feel so sorry for you. Protestants, the way to go, baby. Asia is not important. Uh, we lose a merchant in Ceylon. Um, we can ignore Europe. We lose one in... Support them. Just support them. 20 Diplo power. Hell yeah. Makes so much of a difference because of all this money. It does. It does. I'm not being sarcastic. 
Royal Paris, your legitimacy. And we have a weak claiming heir, which means we do need the early legitimacy. So... Yes. Planning ahead, see. Planning ahead. How long does that take to build? Only a year. Oh, it's not a very royal palace. Either that or we're, like, getting in ridiculous amounts of labour from all over the empire. A bit like the Taj Mahal. Just... <gasps> Bohemia left the military coalition against us! This is so good! Are you still allied with France? Yes, you are. Are you still the weak link in the chain? They're out of Bohemia, Hess, Munster, Malloy, uh, Milan, and Savoy. They're part of the Emperor and Austria will protect them. Which is going to be a big battle in Europe. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that big a battle. Who else is there? I could go with the Palantinate. I could just cancel my alliance and attack them. I'll lose stability. And yeah, I'd end up with against the Netherlands instead. Do you still hate me? Border friction, once your provinces, Casas Belli, enemy of enemy. I think I could actually make you my friend. I think we could do it via friendly channels. I'm not sure about you, however. We can sit on 150 all we like, but with Heretic Religion minus 10, uh, we'll lose our Casas Belli, fine, but then we'll be up on just. We can manage it just, possibly. But we need to lose our Casas Belli. What is our Casas Belli currently? It won't even tell us, will it? Um, if I go to Diplomat View? No. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Diplo on Bohemia. Just because it will be easier than attacking the Plantinate. And I know Bohemia will flip because they are my religion, aren't they? Yeah, they are Protestant. And a lot of that stuff will disappear, like board friction and so on, once we're friends. However, someone like Munster does need to die. Out of Riga, Ulm, Utrecht, Sweden. Warned by France. Or we could just jump up and down on Austria again. Something I'm very tempted to do. But I would like to take a couple of bits up here first. Especially since we can get this guy to be our friend again. Um, let's improve relations with him. So right, here's the plan. What about Hess, actually? Okay, right, so we can have a really quick lightning war against Hess after getting Bohemia on side. Austria may join in because it's got uh, it's the empire and they want to protect the empire. Is this uh, mostly mountains? Yes. Okay. Go there. You go there as our ace in the hole, and you go here as our reinforcements. We don't know where we want to put you yet. So we'll jump in Hess. We'll grab Hess instantly. Then we'll start taking things bit by bit over a period of a very short space of time. But we will try and get them in bit by bit wars where we can. Down here. We're going to go for Ming very quickly. It looks like they are spreading out to try and beat Russia. I might wait until Russia's done. Is the, Russia's done already, actually. Yes, Russia is leaving. Okay. Fine. Odd. But fine. And I think we could then take Ming in the next episode as well. So the next episode... We have two episodes where we've been waiting for these setups. Very small war against Salon. But now it's going to pay off. We're going to be dealing with two wars on opposite sides of the world at the same time. And fairly big wars at that. This one's going to be a lot of small ones hopefully, but it'll probably escalate into a big war. And down there it's against the Ming, who will crush. But it's a big country. 
Anyway, I'm going to end it here. I've been introducing him. If you've liked this episode, please remember to like. And if you want to see the next episode where bad ass stuff is going to go down, please subscribe. As usual, stay shiny. <laughs>